Fox. Fox. Here. Hi guys. Today I'm going to go camp on another roundabout. I'm here in Fairham, on the south coast of England. It's a, it's a hot weekend. Probably about maybe 24, 25 degrees at the moment. Found a nice looking roundabout with a river running through it. I think I might be on the wrong side of the road now though. But yeah, it's got a river running through it. A river running through it. I looked at it, I drove past it on the way to my, in my car. There were some people playing in the river. Well, we're going to have a look anyway. See if we can do it. I think it's just down the bottom of this road. Beautiful day there. Roundabouts over there, but look at all these swans. I think this one's think of I've got food there, so better move on before they all end up here. Hop over there. Like a tidal estuary or something like that. Yeah, the swans are coming for me. So let's go. Yeah, the roundabout is just here. It's got some bushes on it, but... people on the other side. There's some people on the other side of it, so... You see why. Nice, nice bit of shade and a dip in the, the estuary. You're probably getting this little bit of grass and bushes here. But I'll wait for these people to go first. Well, maybe I'll, I'll walk around it and have a look. It looks like the kind of place people might hang out at night though, so... I'm unsure so far. And it's a very busy road. Water doesn't look good enough for a swim anyway. <laughs> but if I'm getting these trees, I'll be alright. But I have to wait for these people to move on a bit. Yeah, let's go get my bag and get in these bushes. Yeah. here. I went to Tesco quickly and uh, just to you know, pass some time. Hopefully there's other people have moved on. So let's get back to the roundabout and get in it. Stinks here. Well, it looks like a lot for a wee but who knows.
Okay, I bottled it a bit there. I bottled it a bit there. Should have went for it. Right. Right. A bit rusty. <laughs> bring this jacket with me to like run through bushes on but it's just too hot so yeah looks like there's a sign of a camp already off head I might try and head like that way into the bushy bits a bit more just in case someone else does come here and it'd be nice if I can like see the water Visible spider webs. Uh, maybe there or here see the road over the other side but I worry is at night time are people gonna come and sit here and like drink and smoke and stuff on the other side of the bank I mean not in here I hope but over there maybe I'm gonna take this rucksack off because it weighs it quite a bit I packed my tents, but I also packed, well, I had my hammock in the car and I just chucked it on top, so got my tent and my hammock with me. What do you reckon? At least it's a bit cooler in here. I wonder if I can get my hammock from this tree to uh, this one here, just like through the middle. That tree's a little bit in the way, but shouldn't be too much of a problem. I think I'll give that a go. Since, since my hammock's on top of the bag, might as well try. Of a 
sun shining through behind me. I'll move that in a minute, but pretty much all set up. I did bring my tarp, but I'm not going to rain tonight. That will be a bit of a bit of a pain in the house to put up. Yeah, we have to get up. No, yeah, pole here, everywhere. We'll be alright without a tarp tonight. And being so urban, you know, it's nice to have a view of things around you. Just in case. I'll try and show you on I'll try and show you on Google Maps how close I am to the road and I wanna have a look myself. Thinking about how quiet I need to be. I suppose there's no pavement round the roundabout, but you know, people might walk on it. I did. So, you know. Oh no, I look pretty deep on the roundabout. Don't even see that. I'll show you. You know, superimpose it. You know. My editing skills and all that. So hopefully we'll be alright here. Just got to you know, keep an eye on the other side because there's a nice patch of grass there. But it's, I know it's on a roundabout but I wouldn't mind sit, sitting there, you know, relaxing on a hot day. You know, if you only live close by. I suppose the estuary's over there. You could just go there but, you know. I can see a person walking on the other side of the, the road but they are wearing bright pink so I might be alright. Some of you might watch that, but so uh, I mentioned again here 20,000 subscribers got now, so thank you guys, every one of you. Really appreciate it. Cheers to like the next 20,000 or 100,000 maybe one day. Let's go down the bank a bit, see if we can see any nice wildlife. Oh, little birdie. So yeah, uh, hammock over here, bathroom over there. I did bring like a pair of shorts just in case it was really hot and uh, like you know, fancy a dip but I've seen that walker I don't think so <laughs> uh, definitely not you know, don't fancy it I think I'd be hard to see up here. Anyway. Alright, let's get something to eat. Today I'm making pizza. I've got some ready made pizza dough. I put it in the freezer earlier. But I better cook it now because it'll probably just keep expanding in the bag. So yeah, pepperoni pizza tonight. Yeah, I've got some store-bought pizza dough you just sort of roll out and put your toppings on and chuck it in the oven but I'm just going to roll it out in the pan like upside down so like pepperonis first cheese then sauce and then the dough on top just so the pepperonis get like get cooked nicely cooked so like the fat renders down they get some charredness on them then we've fl flipped the pizza and uh, yeah hopefully a tasty pizza
trying to get the pan just like low. I took the handle off my frying pan. Just gonna have to use, use, just gonna have to use some paper towels to like dig it up. Someone is maybe making me a, like a pot holder, but she's got other products on at the moment. So hopefully she'll get around to that soon. But yeah. Pans on. Might be setting fire to some leaves. <laughs> Actually pan off. I've got this little like non-stick, so if it's Teflon or what, but non-stick sheet. That goes in the pan first. Then we build our pizza on that, then we can flip it. No pepperoni. Might do getting smoked down by the leaves underneath. There might be a little bit more, too much pepperoni. Might spread them out a little more. Just so there's room for the cheese to go through the gaps. Mozzarella. Pizza sauce. Go easy on the sauce, then we will. Need to forgot some chili flake. A bit of salt, just in case. The sauce is store bought. Now I'll feed today. sheets of parchment. Hopefully one will peel off nicely. Let me chuck that on top of our, all of our toppings and try and peel it off. Been a little sticky. Well, I'm like quite a low heat. So I just want to like render the fat out the pepperonis slowly. And got a beer over there somewhere. <laughs> yeah, I think I went a bit overboard on the amount of sauce. This is what happens. You get a boiling liquid. Well, keep going, see how it goes. Right, we're going to go for the flip. It might be quite... Right, we're going to go for the flip. I think the pan might be too hot. Or what? Uh, I don't know. We're going to flip it and see. It's quite hard on an uneven surface though. So you need two hands. You need... Maybe use your feet 
to hold the pan in place. I'm gonna turn the gas off just to, you know, extra safety and all that. Hopefully as the, the toppings like relax and set, you can just peel this off. But we have to wait and see, I guess. C comes off pretty easily. We got a pizza. Give me a little look. There we go, there's pizza. Let's have a look at the base. Oh, it's got a bit of colour. Fox, Fox, here. Just seen two foxes. I've never been this close to a fox before. Right. Fellow little ginger, or well, two gingers. I better, pepper, I better pack away the pepperonis. I'm gonna go to sleep. I'm gonna go for a little wonder, but I can hear some people. Nine o'clock now. Plenty of light still. Further on that way, there's a dual carriageway and the train tracks. going through the roundabout. by the bridge over there, so I'm just going to get back to my car. Oh, I think it's going to be
It's nice to be back in the hammock tonight. It's been since January, but last time I was in the hammock, on another roundabout. So yeah, it's nice. I feel myself drifting off. Pretty stealthy up here. Fingers crossed. Touch wood. Good for the night. That's me off to bed now. It's like half eleven. So, and I'm gonna try and get up early to go down the marina. So I'll see you in the morning. Good night, guys. Bye. Good morning, it's uh, 5.24. My alarm's set for 5.30, so not bad. So yeah, gonna slowly get up. I've got some um, coffee with me. Some, just some instant, just some instant stuff, you know. About three and one. Whatever coffee, um, wander out. The most uncomfortable now. Sli 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 yeah. Slippy air mat, but nice still though. Last little sweep. I think I've got everything. There we go, another night, another roundabout. Let's get to, back to the car, get a cup of coffee on the go, and find somewhere nice. This is one of my favourite bits, getting up nice and early, before like most people. Have a little look around. That looks like the tide's going out. That's me now, Ferrum done. So, see you in the bushes next time. Bye, guys.